Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Görgöt. Today we're making a summer dessert and it's marinated strawberries. It's basically drunk strawberries because we're marinating them in amaretto sour. But before we have a look at the ingredients we need, please do me the favor, click on the subscribe button to support the channel and check the bell icon to get notifications when new content comes online. But now let's have a look. We obviously have our beautiful strawberries. I have some mint here as well. Now this recipe is basically a variation of a classical Swedish recipe from a famous, well, he's dead now, but famous Swedish chef of the past called Tore Vretman. And it's called Strawberries alla Haga, or Jordgubbar alla Haga. But that uses a bit of a different liquor. Except for that, it's in principle a very similar um, recipe. But I'm, I'm a big fan of Amaretto Sour, so I'm going to make it with Amaretto Sour. So the strawberries and the mint. We need sugar, we need cream, it's just to whip and, and serve with it. We need two oranges and one lemon, and obviously we need amaretto. We will also need water, because what we do with the sugar is equal parts sugar to equal parts water to make a sugar syrup. But let's start with mixing all the ingredients that goes into the pan. It's not there, but it will be there. Um, it's basically the sugar, the water, the juice of the lemons and the oranges, and the amaretto. So we'll start with that. So we can start by putting the sugar. Now, remember at about what height the sugar was, because you need water as well, right? Same equal quantity. Now we need amaretto. Quantity-wise, I don't really know. Whatever tastes good. I would say that was probably 10 centiliters. I will try it and see if we need some more. Now for our oranges and our lemon. As always, the trick to roll them like this, like that the juice gets out easier. And we also need some zest. So let's cut off some peel. I think two of these should be enough from the orange. And we'll let that boil with the rest of the stuff to kind of get the, yeah, it can be a bit tangy sometimes, a bit bitter. And try to leave as much of the, of the white stuff as you can on the fruit. Try to cut it as thin as possible. A little bit more from the lemon, like that. And we can cut that up afterwards. And now we just split our fruit. And we juice it. I'm using a strainer because it just goes faster when you have a lot of fruit to squeeze. Now you can also make this with only oranges or only lemon, whatever you prefer. But I think it's nice with a mix of the orange and the lemon. To get the sweetness from the orange and the sourness from the lemon. There we go, now we can lift this up. Oop. And now we'll get going with this here. Just line it up and then we cut it. So, there we have our lemon and orange zest. Put that in as well. Now you could try this, but it's gonna have, still have a lot of alcohol. That's why we're putting it on the stove. So I will try it once it's boiled for a bit. So we'll put this on and then we'll fix up the strawberries. So we cleaned it, well, we didn't clean it, but we washed our strawberries. Now we're just gonna cut off the tops and then slice them up. Like that. So we do that with all our strawberries. The um, marinade is on the stove. I'm going to boil it to, to get rid of all the alcohol. It's not going to take long. So when I see you again, the strawberries will be done and that will be ready as well. 
As you can see, all our strawberries have been cut, and here we have the marinade. This needs to cool down, it's still warm. I'm just gonna try it. Perfect. Not too much and not too little of the amaretto. It has a nice kind of fruity sourness from the oranges and the lemon. And now we need this to cool down. We'll put this away and we'll chop up the mint. Now the easiest with the mint is just to kind of, that doesn't even matter. I was gonna to say to organize them in the right direction, but in the end, who cares? We'll just slice them finely. There's mint from my garden. And obviously we cannot add this until the marinade is cool because then they're just going to go, yeah, not brown, but kind of almost brown. They're going to cook a bit. So we'll wait now until the marinade is cool. We'll put in this, we'll put in the strawberries, and then we'll get on with the cream. But before we do all of that, as always, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you liked about this episode or this recipe. So do me the favor, support me by clicking that thumbs up button below. That really helps me. Thank you. Our marinade has cooled down. We'll put in the mint. Get rid of this. Just mix it around a bit. And now you can choose. Do you want to put the strawberries into the marinade or the marinade onto the strawberries? This is a bit bigger, so I'm going to put the strawberries into here. Now just mix this around. This is beautiful. They haven't had time to marinate it, but I cannot, I cannot stop myself from giving it a try. You're not going to be disappointed once we kind of plate this up and try it. But for now, we'll put these to the side. I will whip up some cream. Yeah, let's look at that too. So let's get our cream in here. I'm too lazy to get the machine out. A bit. Takes a bit longer, but it's a good workout. And you don't want this whipped too hard. It's going to be, it needs to be quite a creamy whipped cream but I'll show you before we stop. So part of me is already regretting that I didn't take out the machine, but this is, this is the kind of creamy ones, creamy whipped cream we want. So that's perfect. All that's left now is to plate up and then to taste it. So let's do that. Our strawberries have been in the fridge now for about an hour and they're ready to be served. So let's put some in a bowl here. Like that. And then some of our whipped cream. Et voila. My take of a Jordgubbar alla haga, or strawberries alla haga, but it's uh, kind of also an amaretto sour marinated strawberries. Let's dig in. I'm gonna lift it up closer to my mouth. I just love this. I think amaretto goes really well with it. Um, almond taste. It doesn't need the cream, but the cream is nice. The mint had also given it a nice taste. Like a hint of mint in the marinade, but this is just mm. for me a divine summer's dessert. And it's really simple. You saw how quickly we made it. It needs to cool down a bit, it needs to marinate a bit, but the cooking part is dead easy. There's nothing complicated about it at all. So give this a try. And I hope you like it. Let me know if you do. But that's it for this time. It's a short one. The perfect summer's dessert. Thank you very much for watching. But before we go, and you haven't subscribed yet, please do me a favor. 
click the subscribe button and check the bell icons to get notifications. That would mean a lot to me and would be a great support to the channel. But that's it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.